Now we want to test uh, for reducing sugars. And Benedict's reagent is the indicator that will uh, determine if reducing sugars are present. Benedict's reagent turns from a blue to another color such as yellow or red or orange or green if reducing sugars are present. So to do this, we're going to put two dropperfuls of water into one test tube, and I have this labeled H2O. Then we're going to put two dropperfuls of a glucose solution into the other test tube. I have this one labeled G. For our next step, we will add our Benedict's reagent to each test tube. So we'll go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops. You can see they're both a nice aqua shade of blue. The next step is to put each test tube into a boiling water bath. So the test tube with water is on the right and the test tube with the glucose solution is on the left and we're looking for a color change, a change different from a color we presently have. And if you can see, we're starting to get yellow forming in the test tube that contains glucose. So this is indicating the presence of a reducing sugar, and glucose is a reducing sugar. The water test tube has no color change. So Benedict's reagent test for the presence of reducing sugars.